Well, this week, uh, we decided to go with a comic from IDW Publishing. Uh, it is Ghostbusters International number one. Uh, the writer is Eric Burnham. Uh, oh, yeah. Yep, there's the cover. And uh, the artist is Dan Schroening. Second uh, Let's see, so the, the synopsis goes as thus, that uh, there's something strange in the neighborhood. And whether that neighborhood, New York or Venice, Italy, uh, which we'll get to, the Ghostbusters will be there. And so they, after they're busting the United Nations, blah, blah, blah. So, um, basically, this comic, this is the first issue. And for you thinking, for it being Ghostbusters International, they haven't really gotten to the international part yet. Mm-hmm. Uh, other than they were at the UN fighting a ghost that was like a big bowl with all these people shouting or all these ghosts shouting no or something behind them. Uh, but I, don't, I I honestly, I really, for a Ghostbusters comic, uh, I have really enjoyed it. I really liked the artwork. It was kind of like a mix. It seemed more like a mixture of modern kind of style with um, a little bit... I don't know. I don't want to say it. It did look really updated to me for being a yeah, Ghostbusters. It, it looks really updated, but I also think it had a, a fun little mix of the '80s cartoon that some of us grew up watching for Ghostbusters. Mm -hmm. But yeah, no, I I'm I'm with you. I I really actually enjoyed this comic a lot. It um I will say this comic did a really good job of 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 telling you what's going on in the Ghostbusters universe. So this is a good entry point if you haven't been reading all the other IDW Ghostbusters series that they've been running. So it, it jumps you right in into what's going on in the Ghostbusters universe. It gives you good data as far as like, hey, this is what all the characters have been up to. This is what's happened in previous issues. And uh, and, and gets you caught up for for an ongoing series. And and it, it takes place in the in the Ghostbusters universe. It's uh... Yeah, I, I, I really liked it. Uh, I liked how the story... I'm really kind of interested to see how the story goes. Um... Especially since it seems the first issue doesn't get to the international part until the very, very end. Um, and uh, I, was, I, I was really kind of taken back. Like you said, it, it did feel like it was kind of like the, the old cartoons that we grew up with. Mm -hmm. And I kind of actually appreciated that just because the ghost, I love the Ghostbusters movies, mm -hmm. uh, but the Ghostbusters cartoon was the stuff that I really watch. Like, I, I watch a lot of the, the cartoons, and I don't know, the artwork by Dan Schroening, I hope I'm saying his name right, uh, it, it was colorful, it wasn't dark or anything like that, the, everyone had, you know, really good looking lines, um, it did look kind of cartoony, but I think it really fit with the Ghostbusters universe, and the story is uh, like I said, I'm kind of, I'm really interested to see how to develop it. It's one of the first comics in a while that's not, you know, Conan or, you know, something that I've already invested in that I actually want to get invested in. So. Yeah, no, it's, yeah, it's a great starting point. Um, I haven't read any of IDW's previous Ghostbusters stuff, so I was really happy, like I said a minute ago, that they gave so much information. I really felt like this was a great launching point. Um, I am a little... I'd like to know what the international title is for. They, Like you said, they didn't do a very good job of explaining that part of the series. And they didn't quite do a great job of setting up exactly where the series is headed. But for number mm -hmm. one, I mean, it, it it hit all the right notes for the most part. I mean, it was fun. It uh, the, the best part about this comic is that the, the Ghostbusters, for at least for me anyway, the Ghostbusters are the Ghostbusters. I mean, these are the characters that we liked in the movies. And they're definitely the characters we loved in the, in the cartoon series. But um, they were all right on point, just their, their pauses and, and the way that they were in the movies. And even their own distinct looks, they look like the actors that played them in the movies for the most part. So um, a lot it of times... Like they, did it seem like to you that they kind of aged them only slightly? Yeah, only yeah, definitely. I mean, this, this seems like a story that could have taken place right after Ghostbusters 2 and, or yeah. right during the middle of, of the cartoon run that they did. So... Um, they're not really that old, but it definitely feels like a continuation. It feels like there's some history there. I mean, they definitely 
they don't really reference much of what the movies were, but they, you know, they, they still have the firehouse that's under construction and they still have the costumes and they still have the banter and they all still do the same things. Um, there's yeah. some new additional team members on, on the, on the team now, but, but yeah, I mean, but it's, it's very much Ghostbusters and, what I liked about this is a lot of times I'll read other licensed comics that don't do a great job of captivating the license that they're using. So like they'll, they'll take a character, they'll say, Oh, we want to continue on this movie in comic book form, but they don't do a good job of capturing that character or telling a, a story that makes sense in the universe of the movies. This story definitely feels like it could fit right in with the rest of the movies um, and, and the cartoon and the character. So I was really excited for that, and and ultimately, I really liked the really liked the book. It was a little slow. I would have liked to see a little more action. I think there was only one scene where they fought ghosts, but you know, actually fought some ghosts. There was some interesting, like you said, there was some cool setup with these old ghosts that were sitting in this room that nobody knew exactly what they were. So that was kind of cool, but, um, but it it felt like a movie. The dialogue moved slow. The the dialogue definitely moved like it was part one of a bigger arc and. You can tell it's an ongoing series because it wasn't in a real hurry to get anywhere, which you know isn't a bad thing. It definitely is laying some groundwork for future issues. But um, if you if you're a Ghostbusters fan, I would definitely definitely recommend getting this. I mean, it's uh, it's 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 a good part of the Ghostbusters universe. It's all the characters you love, and you can continue the stories. Considering we'll probably never get these Ghostbusters again in a movie. I know we're getting um, a Ghostbusters all female. Yes, movie, we're getting a female cast, but yeah, but we probably will never get Vankman and Stance and Winston, and, and definitely not getting Egon again. But um, in fact, I will say a little <laughs> side note: Egon was written so well in this, it really kind of made me sad that Harold Ramis had passed away. It kind of reminded me yeah. that we, we lost him, <laughs> and it was like oh. I don't know. I, I started reading that like I I got about halfway through, and, and when it finally clicked on in my head, like that you know he was actually dead. You know the Harold Ramis and. I, I did, like, stop reading for a second. I'm like, oh, shit, I totally forgot that, you know, yeah, he's gone past. Yeah. And, and so I guess that's about, you know, it's one of the best comments we can give. I mean, you just, you know, the, the creators did such a, um, you know, Eric Berman did such a great job writing the character that it reminded me so much of the original character that it kind of made me sad for a second so but no it's a, it's a great comic book I, I i recommend it a lot if you're if you're not a diehard ghostbuster fan you can still find a good you know it's a good read it's a good entry point you're not lost in the in all the previous lore idw did a great job of not you know not trying to cram too much into this or trying to make you read all their other ones they let you know what they have and they say hey this is what happened but this is a great you know launch point for going forward so yeah i mean if you don't like Ghostbusters, you're probably not going to like this comic. There's nothing new about it that's going to make you go, I hated the movies, but I'll give this a I mean, it's it's Ghostbusters. They're, they're... It's, it's 32 pages. Mm -hmm. um, it's $3.99. You can get it for a digital copy um, from idwpublishing.com, or you can go to your local comic book shop. Um, or we'll I'll try and slap in, in a, uh, a link for that you can click, and you can buy it to have it delivered right to your house. So Yep, so... Uh, if you like Ghostbusters, me and Ryan definitely say, buy yeah. it. We ain't afraid of no ghosts. We ain't afraid of no ghosts. And even if you don't, well, if you've never read Ghostbusters, definitely buy this and read it. Check it yeah. out. It's a cool, it's a cool uh, comic book. In fact, it definitely book, makes me want to read like some of IDW's other Ghostbuster books. Yes. Definitely. All right. Go buy it. Good job, IDW. We approve. We approve. <laughs>